So today's video, we're doing a more lived-in blonde on this Jasmine Lorimer from the Canadian Bachelorette. I just want to make sure you stay looking at the camera. It's <laughs> loosening you off. I, like, I, I, I told you I don't like <laughs> doing talking things. Yeah, so Jasmine's hair, um, she is actually doing it herself. Um, sometimes she does an amazing job, but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to reach uh, certain spots on your head. And what we did was we wanted to break up her root a little bit more to create uh, more of a blended look. And we wanted to break that up a little bit, so we highlighted right to the root and to the demarcation of where you see um, the bright blonde in the bottom. And then we toned out the root to soften it. Yeah, so I would say Jasmine has a bit of the impatient stylist syndrome where she knows she needs her hair done, but she's not really willing to wait for anybody to do it. So for blondes like this, Mike, how, how often should somebody with more of a lived-in look typically get their hair done? Um, it really depends, to be honest. I have some clients that I see once a year. Um, so it really depends on the client and the person. But um, definitely these kind of colors are going to grow out really well. Like I feel like they could go as long as like three, four months without having to get a touch-up done. Being that we are lightening the ends more, you really don't want to come in too often because us going over previously lightened hair more and more and more is really just going to result in your hair getting more damaged. We do have things like Smart Bond and Olaplex now that can help protect your hair and keep it strong, but if you're not taking care of your hair at home and then coming in every six to eight weeks to have us brighten those ends more, all that's going to happen is your hair is going to end up breaking and falling out. So when styling Jasmine's hair, we know yeah. that Jasmine loves a more natural, kind of like free-flowing look. Her hair is so long naturally, and she does have a bit of nice natural wave to it, which she just likes to usually air dry, or she'll use a diffuser to scrunch it. But Michael chose to do something a little different with her styling, knowing that she likes more of a free-flow, beachy look. What did you do? Um, so with uh, Jasmine's hair today, I styled her with a flat iron, and the technique I used is called uh, an S-wave. Um, so in creating that, I basically grab a piece of her hair. I do it kind of a little bit randomly because I don't like to have everything so perfectly sectioned because it can look a little bit too forced. Um, so in doing that, I grab a piece of hair and I bend the hair in the shape of an S and I kind of tap my flat iron along all the way down uh, to the bottom of her hair and it creates that kind of loose, I like to, to see it as basically like mermaid hair, um, which is totally her. Her jam. Yeah. If you wanted to have a bit more volume at your root, different options you could use would be. I don't want to try to say this. It's Sauvage Panache. Um, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. Well, we I, I don't use. <laughs> that is not the one that I would use. I'd rather use this. Okay. Well, this is my yeah. choice. That's yeah. his choice. Don't to him. You would spray this either at the root or at the. <laughs> <laughs> at the root or at the ends, which will help expand the cuticle, give more texture to the hair, and give, um, I guess, more density overall. Yeah. In next week's video, we're going to try something a little different, but you got to stay tuned to check it out. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> what do I say? Thanks for watching the brush, brush vlog. Okay. Stay tuned for more content next week. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching the brush vlog. Uh, stay tuned and come watch us next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>